after the life divine shri arvindo's poetry is meant to bridge the present and future self divided present life and the life divine that is to be both teachings emphasize a two way path to salvation enlightenment comes from the divinity above but human beings possess a spiritual supermind that is enables them to reach upward toward illumination spiritual perfection is achieved through yoga practices that lead to the ultimate fusion of these two derives songs to martail and urvasi are his earliest poems published respectively in 1895 and 1896 the life divine 1940 is an evolution of thought through love which is traced even from his earlier poems thus he says love is divine love is the hope of god uh, heart to combine love is not love if it occurs it will break and true love is a power and it can break open the doors of the captivity it can change gross to gold it can defy death or it is not love the lovers in urvasi fail for their limitation in ultimate realization but savitri in savitri published much later in 1954 along two fugitives the lesser and the greater realization in to an integral and to total transformation of limited human life into the fullness and splendor of life divine even in a tree his earlier poems contains his quite quaintance of philosophy in which he sees us as divided being one part of us happy and with our present attainment another thirsting for higher thing in life and death he tells that death is life disguised that what appears to be death is another kind of life in sabitri too at the climatic moment in the epic it is death itself which reveals its true face as the supreme lord of life and delight